everybody it's July 9th today so it's 10 weeks that I've been growing in the greenhouse hydroponics Dutch buckets cracky buckets I'm getting a lot more flowers definitely uh, quite a few tomatoes coming in a couple big guys here uh, this one's fun kind of a it's got a penis and a front bum <laughs> Or something like that. Uh, getting more uh, peas here. We're getting some beans in. This guy's went up to the ceiling and came back down. So he's about 12 feet, of, I think, now. I'd have to make another couple of strings to give him some direction. Oh, another more beans here. Oh, that's a big one. That's one of those. Cool to just find stuff every time you come in here. Uh, this cracky one is going good. So cracky means just nutrients. Oh, those roots. I'm getting a little cucumber here. Uh, there's a couple more there, a couple there, one up there. Pretty cool. Uh, peppers are starting to come in. This is the uh, the hot pepper from Urban Roots that I got. Uh, Ghost pepper, Carolina Reaper, and Trinidad Scorpion. So you know, there's one here, one there growing, a couple here. So that's cool. Uh, getting some flowers on this peach ghost, which that's exciting. That's what I wanted to see. Uh, tons of cucumbers on this guy. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think there was another one. Yeah, there's another one down here. This is the plant. Oh, another one here. Oh, another one there. Yeah, it's going good. Uh, made a big salad last night and fed eight people just from stuff in here. We had some uh, celery from here. And a bunch of lettuce. This one is kind of bolting, so it's getting taller. So I'll probably replace this soon. Uh, these guys, yeah, I'll probably replace all these lettuces. Uh, buck choy is coming in. Swiss chard. Oh, looks like he's that one guy that didn't go happy. Yeah, a bunch of new roots coming in there, so that's cool. Not too many roots on these. Looks like I got a strawberry coming in. Some colored greens. Uh, the sucker plant from, from that big one in the corner there. No habaneros yet. A bunch of little little tomatoes coming in this guy. He should have a ton coming in, I think. Pretty cool. I'm just kind of intertwining with this guy. Oh, there's more down here too. That for roots. So I just have everything on a, a timer, as I said before. These all go back to the reservoir here. Got a little pump in there. And that goes off into two loops to, so I get constant pressure in every bucket. There's a little cucumber here. Time to make some pickles again soon. Yeah, so tons of flowers, nice to see. 
It's so high. My ceiling here is eight feet tall from the top of the buckets. Yeah, this one's gonna be fun to watch. They're not all pretty. This guy's got some crazy stuff going on. They're still going. This, this celery, I don't think it's gonna do too well. I might add some nutrients and just see. Uh, I got a bunch of uh, peppers growing in beer cans. These ones are doing pretty good, and there's more inside. I'll show you right here. Here's what I got growing on the inside. This is a peach ghost doing well. Some of the peppers are doing good. It's just in khaki buckets. The roots are pretty good. This basil's getting a little brown. We'll see. Just the pool noodle. A couple tomatoes lying down. But we'll see what I do with them. My beer can peppers are going good. They're all, a bunch of them are starting to flower. more here. I just got some succulents as well going in beer cans. I haven't put holes in the bottom of these but I did put some holes in the bottom of these guys. Fun little project. I just gotta grow light in here. Made a little stand for it. Oh, the clouds here. Hi, Cloud. I have to move some of these outside. Speaking of outside, back there. Okay, I think that's uh, just a quick one today. Show you around. All the curly cues coming together. Fun stuff. Can't wait to make more hot sauces. I used 10 peppers on, from a plant similar to this one last year to make my favorite hot sauce that everyone at Monday Night Football really liked. Should have a bunch of peppers on here too, it looks like. It's just this guy, you know. It's just a ring of fire. Those guys are excellent for like a breakfast. Oh, what a little guy. Just cut up one and for your breakfast. All right, and it's uh, almost four o'clock, so there is still some sunlight in the upper levels here. There's not much sun down here, but these guys are digging it. Uh, just the upside down tomato cages to hold stuff up. Seems to work well. I'm gonna open this door now to get some air going through. All right. I think I'll end it here. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next week. Hopefully with more red tomatoes. Okay, thanks for watching.